If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. QuickBooks Online Plus has three account types that track the value of short-term and long-term assets. The Other Current Assets account tracks assets likely to be converted into cash or used up within one year. Examples of other current assets include prepaid expenses and short-term notes receivable. A Fixed Assets account tracks assets your business owns that are not likely to be converted into cash or used up within one year. Fixed Assets accounts track the value of long-lived assets with a larger value that assists you in performing your business. The value of these items are expensed over the useful life of the asset, which varies. Examples include furniture, some office equipment, computers, and vehicles. An Other Assets account tracks an asset that is neither current nor fixed. Use this account for things like security deposits on leases or intangible assets like patents. QuickBooks Online Plus also has two account types that track long-term and short-term liabilities. The Other Current Liabilities account tracks liabilities your company expects to pay within a year. An example is a short-term loan. A Long-Term Liabilities account tracks debt your business is not likely to pay off within a year. For example, if buying a company vehicle, you often take out a long-term loan. The long-term loan received to purchase equipment is an example of a long-term liability. To create asset and liability accounts in QuickBooks Online, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the Chart of Accounts link under the Your Company heading in the menu that appears to open the Chart of Accounts page. Then click the New button in the upper right corner of the page to open an account window. From the Account Type drop-down, select the type of account to create. Then select the Detail Type from the following drop-down. Enter the account's name, optional number, and description into the fields of the same names. If this is a subaccount, check the Is Subaccount checkbox and then select its parent account from the Enter Parent Account dropdown. If creating an account that has a balance as of a previous date, use the When Do You Want to Start Tracking Your Finances from This Account in QuickBooks dropdown to select the date for which to enter the account's opening balance. If you select the other choice, then use the Selected Date drop-down to select the desired date. Then enter the account's balance as of the selected date into the What Was Your Account's Balance on Selected Date field. When finished creating the account, click either the Save and Close or Save a New Choice from the drop-down button in the lower right corner of the account window to save the account. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.